it's it's difficult, uh, kind of awkward for me to, to be on this side of the camera to talk to the camera. But uh, I'd rather be out there with you. So um, when I say something, I just want to say it like I'm <laughs> like I'm out there amongst you. Okay. Um, the um, first, I think it's 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 good and it's appropriate that this is that it's the IPS that's holding this memorial because. Um, you know, Saul was my friend for, for 50 years, and wherever he went, uh, wherever he traveled, uh, wherever he lived, he always kept the Institute as his base, and the friends that he had at the Institute, interacting with them, so that the people at IPS and what they stood for were very much part of Saul's whole life. Um, even when we went on our adventures. One of, one of those adventures was, um, we call it Paul Jacobs and the Nuclear Gang. I saw his friend Paul Jacobs, who with um, many other journalists were downwind of a nuclear test. My name is Paul Jacobs, and I want to speak with Mr. John Harris. So I wanted the film for Paul, who was dying of cancer, was caused by the fallout of a nuclear test. Due to a change in wind direction, the residue from this morning's atomic detonation is drifting in the direction of St. George. It is suggested that everyone remain indoors for one hour or until further notice. There is no danger. Whatever changes have been made have been made because we've been fighting for those. But we've got a long, long way to go. Another one of what I'm just going to call it adventures when Saul took me to Chiapas, Mexico, where the Zapatistas were just forming. Uh, we gave Subcomandante Marcos uh, our high -E camera, and uh, later he used them for what he called his communiques. Ya. Este, ¿le voy a poner la grabación o no le pongo? No, ya no. Bueno, se corta. <coughs> ¿Así está bien? La gabardina. Listo. Buenas madrugadas. Hoy es primero de enero de 1996 y este es el programa especial del Sistema Zapatista de Televisión Intergaláctica. Estamos transmitiendo vía satélite a Oventic, en el municipio de San Andrés, Sacamachén de los Pobres. Bienvenido a Chiapas. I did a lot of shooting with Saul in Cuba. remember we were somewhere and Fidel spotted Saul and I remember he came up and he says oh Landau, Landau. <laughs> just um, recently uh, Brazilians have been using our film Brazil to report on torture as part of a program to expose the crimes of their previous government. No quarto dia, a sabendo que eu volveria à tortura, eu tentei a morte cortando me pulsos é, esquerdo, ah, na cicatriz aqui. Una... Cortando as venas de meu braço, numa tentativa de poner al, é, al fim ao termo a tortura e poder assim assim uma denúncia verdadeira de que é o Brasil não é mais é o país somente do samba, do futebol, de Pelé, mas é também um grande campeão de la tortura. We were actually commended as our film was commended by President Dilma Rousseff. Uh, saw is happy that he saw that our work still affects the real world of change. And uh, 
I guess you can say it's a kind of immortality. Uh, the last film I shot with Saul was his film on the Cuban Five. Here was a time when good people, who happened to be Cuban, uh, blew the whistle on terrorists, and um, they're put in jail. <laughs> you were provided all kinds of evidence to the FBI. The FBI then figured out who were the people who were supplying the Cuban government the information. Gerardo Hernandez was charged with conspiracy to commit espionage. There was no any evidence of conspiracy to commit espionage. I got a call from Saul uh, not too long ago, very short time ago actually, where he, um, he said he wanted to say goodbye. And, um, and so we talked, uh, not anything about all those films and the things I was just talking about, it, but we just talked about, about life and, and friendship and, and affection and all the things that, you know, when I think now speaking at his memorial and even then, you know, it was pretty tough not not to cry. Not that it was sad, but it was sort of unusual and, and, and profound to be able to talk with a friend who knew he was going to die. And we, we had just sort of a celebration of our friendship. And I sort of remembered a time where we were at a Pete Seeger concert. And, um, he sang this song, uh, Precious Friend, um, which I'm thinking about now. And so um, I tried to re remember the words of the song because I want to, I want to, I want to sing it, <laughs> and ho hopefully um, you'll uh, you'll you'll join with me because that's what that's why I'm I'm here talking at this memorial. Let me think how it went. Let me see. Um, I think it's just, just when I thought all was lost, you, you changed, changed my, my mind. You gave me hope, hope. not just the old soft soap. You showed that, that we could, could learn, learn to. to Share in time, you and me in Rockefeller. I'll keep plugging on. Your face will shine through all our tears. And when we sing another little victory song, precious friend, you will be there. Singing in harmony, precious friend, you will be there. Hey, will you sing it with me? I'll give you the words. Just when I thought, just, just when I thought, all was lost, all was lost. You changed my mind, you changed my mind. You gave me hope, not just the old soft soap. You gave me hope, not just the old soft soap. You showed that we could learn to share in time. time. You and me and Rockefeller. You and me and Rockefeller. I'll keep, keep plugging on. on. Your face will shine. Your, Your face, face will shine. shine. Through all our tears. Through all our tears. When we sing another little victory song. And when we, we sing, sing another, another little victory song. song. Precious friend, you will be there. Precious friend, you will be there. Precious friend, you will be there. Player Steve, are you singing it? Ha <laughs> ha!